Yeah, I think it's been about two or three weeks. Charlie miss me though. It's all good. We miss your braces. Yeah, it's a long, long time. Was that a sobering loss? A sobering loss? This was a hard loss. Sure, I hate losing anyway, but uh, I mean, it's old with, can't do nothing about it. You know, wish the outcome would have went our way, but it didn't. But I don't know, just gotta get, we got to move on. Is this a big week for you as a leader to get these guys rejuiced up, refocused, to, to make sure nothing nothing happens this Saturday to carry over? Yeah, it's most definitely a big week for me, you know, as far as the leadership, you know, this one. <laughs> You know, we needed it, you know, at the uh, highest point, you know, the highest level my leadership can be at because, you know, uh, fresh off a of loss, you know, a lot of guys probably mad about it. You know, I haven't really got to talk to a lot of people. And, you know, they can lose focus and then Arkansas can smack us in the face. So I don't want that to happen. Devin, a lot of LSU fans rallied around you, had billboards, had planes flying over Georgia, Florida with hashtag free Devin White. How important is it to you, and how great is it to have such an amazing fan base that's so supportive of you? I mean, it was a very, you know, humbling experience. You know, I know that probably never happened in college football before, but, you know, I already know how great Tiger fans are, and, you know, just to see them, you know, they just wowed me even more. You know, I went on social media this morning and thanked them, you know, because I've been quiet about everything for the past two weeks, you know, and just dealing with it on my own, you know, knowing I wasn't going to be able to help my team for two quarters. But, I mean, it was, it was a great feeling, you know, seeing how many people love me, you know, how many people rallied behind me. Because at the end of the day, I figured wasn't nothing going to change. But, you know, it was just a thing of just a voice being heard. So, I mean, I'm very thankful. What did you do for those two quarters? Uh, I, I paced around the, um, the locker room. I watched the game. I did push-ups. I was just, like, I was all over the place. Like, I mean, I really couldn't focus. You know, I was just, like, I just want the game to be real tight when I got in, you know. That's all. I was just waiting. I was cheering my guys on. I was watching all the big plays that the defense was making. You know, they were stopping them. You know, I, I don't know. I was just, I was doing everything. How difficult were the two weeks leading into the game for you? I mean, it was very difficult because I know, like, you know, that was going to be a big game. You know, um, I had a lot to do. You know, I had a lot on my mind, but I also had to prepare Patrick. You know, I think I did a good job helping him out, stand in his ear, making sure he knew what to do, how to do it, and, you know, the way I watch film, how I look at things, and how I'm able to diagnose things. I kind of gave him a little formula. And, you know, he had nine tackles, two tackles for loss. You know, he, he really stepped up. You know, um, I feel like he left a couple plays out there. I know he won't back, but other than that, you know, he did what he had to do. So, I mean, that's about it. You've... Uh... You're from a place that's almost to Arkansas, right? <laughs> yeah, it's about one minute from Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, so you played a few, uh, you played a few cold games before, right? Yeah, a lot of cold games in high school. So what's what's it? I mean, this week it might be 30 degrees or something like that. It won't be nearly the hype and everything. Just the focus on winning the game and, and everything. Uh, I think um, execute. You know. I know my thing is I want to win all my one-on-ones I get. I want to make a lot of big plays against these guys. feel like I ain't really been on the field in forever. You know, playing two quarters not the same as playing a whole game. You know, as far as the team, I know everybody want to win. You know, the offense, I hope they want to score the ball a lot because they didn't score last week. So I know I just want everybody, you know, to improve. And, you know, the weather, it shouldn't be a factor, you know. I won't even have no long sleeves on, I can tell you that now. I'm just have on some socks and an undershirt, and that's it. And, you know, to get ready to, you know, play four quarters of football. Does this feel like a game you guys will play angry? Um, I wouldn't say we'll play angry, but I know we got a lot to show, you know, like, you know, don't count us out still, you know, we're going to finish it strong. You know, we got a great chance of, you know, these last three games, you know, just being, you know, LSU football, you know, making sure we win them, that's the thing. So, hope we play with, you know, a lot of passion. Being from that part of the world, does Arkansas view this kind of like their Super Bowl? Man, I know it's Arkansas Super Bowl. You know, where I'm from, we got Arkansas fans where I'm from. So, I mean, even the fans feel like, you know, hey, we got a you know, good shot at them. They down right now or whatever. So let's kind of get them. But, you know, as a leader, I'm not going to let that happen. So, you know, get ready to see us go win this game. Before watching film, is there anything that, you know, you already know about Arkansas? Um, no, nah, I haven't watched film on them. I have watched them, though, because uh, my friend Scooter played there. You know, he leading the SEC in tackle. So, you know, I watch them just for the purpose of watching him and one of my cousins, you know, uh, Jared Cornelius. I watch those two guys. But other than that, I haven't watched film on them yet. But I know that they're going to give us that best shot, you know, just like he just said. And that's what we got to be prepared for is to get ready for a hard, you know, physical game with them. Because they still Arkansas, they still in the SEC, and they still going to be a great team to play.
was Tua as good as advertised? Yeah, he was good. Uh, I mean, I feel like um, he's surrounded by a lot of great players that kind of help him out a lot. But, I mean, he was good as advertised, you know, all, most respect to him and, you know, his game. He was a good player. LSU hasn't lost back-to-back -back games since 2015. So how important is it for y'all to get this win and kind of persevere throughout the remainder of the season? Oh, it's very important for us to get this win. Um, we don't want to lose back-to-back -back games ever. We don't really want to lose ever. So let's get that out of our head. But, um... Like I said, you know, it's, it's all with the leadership. You know, I'm calling upon myself to be that guy, step up this week and lead this team to a victory because we need it and we need one the next week and the next week, you know, going into getting ready for the bowl games and stuff. So, you know, we just want to finish out on top. Are you motivated to perhaps play one of those big bowl games, like a Sugar, a Fiesta, if they're talking about that perhaps? I won't play anything. I just won't, I won't play anything. I won't play another top team, you know. I just want to play a lot, like a great opponent. So, I mean, whenever it comes down to it, as long as we handle our business in these next three weeks, I feel like we'll be playing in a great bowl game. Do you know anything about the uh, Netflix show Last Chance You? Yeah, I know a little bit about it. Have I you, watch it a little bit. You, any of it? Yeah, I've seen a little bit. Do you know uh, the starting running back for Arkansas? Yeah, is, uh... yeah I know he off of it. <laughs> It'd be kind of cool playing him. TV star, huh? Yeah.